Mario Battle Royale launched last night, and I can already say this is one of the best Battle Royales I've played. With that being said, I'm ready to give some guides and strategies for you guys in this video. Let's get into it. Allow me to explain how this game is played. You're paired up with 34 different players while trying to survive in a, in a variety of different courses from the Mario Brothers NES version. If you look to the sides of the screen, you'll notice all the players' gameplay going on while you're playing as well. And if, they, if their screen goes blue, that means they um, got KO'd and they're gone. But, when they are KO'd or knocked out of the competition, you'll be given their coins as a bonus for knocking them out depending on the enemies you send toward their game. The way the enemies work is by um, when you defeat an enemy on your game, you can send them to wherever you're targeting them using the joystick. Each time you defeat an enemy, you'll be sending it to another player for them to deal with. If you're lucky enough, you might be able to take them out with your enemy that you sent over there, and you can even get points for it, and as well as their coins. The way the coins work for this game in particular is that they'll, they'll be helpful for items. On the top left of your screen, for Mario, you'll notice that you have the coin tr tracker, so... Each time you have at least 20 coins, you you'll, you can use your item box, which allows you to either use a mushroom, a fire flower, the pal block, or the superstar. If you want to have like the mushroom or the fire flower while you're big Mario or fire Mario, you'll be given 15 seconds for having those power-ups already. The way the time works is that you'll be rewarded it for completing the level and for defeating an enemy. You have to make sure you have like a good time limit, otherwise if it hits zero, you're gone. The last part I need to explain for this game is the bottom side, the bottom part where it will tell you how many coins you've earned so far and the enemies that are um, coming toward you. This will, the bottom screen will act as a timeline or like rather a compass of where the enemies are right now on the level and how close you are to getting toward them. So if you see like any of them like a Goomba or a Koopa Troopa or a Bowser, that means you'll have to be prepared for what's ahead. So be careful of that. I explained all the basics for, for this game. Allow me to introduce a few strategies for you new players. The first thing I tried was collecting a lot of coins that I've been gathering for each level and I did this by by a lot of methods which was first the secret the secret pipe on 1-1 as well as the extra the extra life mushrooms which I forgot to bring up because the extra life mushrooms they will have they are worth 20 coins, so those are important to grab. I know a few locations on it, and I'll share some screenshots with you right now for ways you can grab those. If you so, if you have more coins, you'll have more opportunities to grab a different item, which can save you if you're one of the last few people standing and you need like a mushroom right now or a fire flower or a power block just to take out a lot of enemies that are just grouped up together right now because this other your opponent just threw everything at you another extra tip that you can keep in mind is uh, just always send enemies toward your opponents to, to make their gameplay a bit harder than yours and you can do this by easily killing enemies that are already on the level or you can also send battles as well just by completing 1-4 or any of the dash 4 levels and the way I always make sure to always get to a dash 4 level is by going to the secret pipe on 1-2 
which is, which is on the back side of the warp pipe if you need it you can also just view this part portion here of the video and it can either take you to different levels that will be randomly generated because it does change each time but I do know it always stays as a there's always a 1-4 level so that should be really helpful my last tip is to um, normally let enemies drop in on your game so normally when you have like five people left you'll see a lot of enemies being dropped so I make sure to have a, at least a fire flower with me or like a sh mushroom because that way if I do I can just kill a bunch of enemies at once and build up a lot of time and I forgot to mention this but if you do try to stall for time like if you just stand there idly you will be penalized for it and be taken out so be, be careful of that but if you do have like a lot of time if you need a lot of time you can easily just stand somewhere and then like throw a bunch of fireballs or take out a koopa troopa and it, it would really help most of your game by boosting up by like a lot of seconds now the last way I plan to help is to also provide a few locations for some special blocks that have extra lives, coin, more coins, or stars. The first extra life you'll find, which is right by the pipe that goes into the secret room on 1-1, is right by it. It's hidden, so it's in between of I think it's two or one bush but you go right onto like the edge of the bush and then you'll find an extra life right there and buy it another secret that can be found is the star after the pillars on 1-2 which you'll find in the top block you'll have to be big in order to hit it but once you do you'll be able to use the superstar Another secret I came across was t um, two secrets on 2 1. So, first you'll find a superstar, which is right after you pass the 10 question blocks. And it's the first top block on the left, and you'll find a superstar. But after that, once you pass six more blocks, the, uh, in the center of that one, you'll find a vine, which will take you up to this cloud area, which will give you a lot of coins. Finally, this last secret is for the 4-2 level, which I have not gone to yet, but I'm planning on. Now then, with all these tips, these should help you reach the top of the Royale, and if you do manage to win, you will be rewarded with your coin ranking, which you will see at the top once you earn your first win. I hope you guys enjoyed this tips and tricks video and guide of course I plan to do more and definitely gonna stream a lot more of this game this is very addicting uh, but thank you guys for watching and be sure to tune in for more see you guys later